Hi, my name is Ludas and in this video we will be creating psychedelic Gauguin animations. What is Gauguin? It's an artificial intelligence tool built by Nvidia that turns your scribbles into real life looking photos, most of the time. You don't need to know how to draw to make a beautiful landscape. Here I tried recreating Stonehenge with Gauguin. As you can see on the left is what I had to draw to get the picture. It's just that easy to create pictures for your blog posts, imaginary landscapes, architectural designs, etc. To try out Gauguin, you can find a link in the description. It's free. How it works, Gauguin recognizes colors as objects and puts it all together as best as it can and also tries to mimic the color palette of a photo that is supplied. You can find the color palette in the description as well. It helps if you want to do your sketches with your preferred editor. Though, how do we make animations? Gauguin doesn't support creating animations out of the box, unless of course you have the patience to upload every frame one by one. Then in that case, it does. I wouldn't call myself patient, so I wrote a Python script to do the frame by frame conversion for me. You can download it for free again in the description below. It's not completely straightforward to launch it. I tried my best to make it as user friendly as possible and I also wrote a short guide of how to get it up and running. Now that this is out of the way, let's get animating. My first test was creating some mountains in the ocean and taking a look at them. The result is kind of trippy and it astonishes me how little detail I had to provide. To build this all you need is some animation tool, I used After Effects, you get the color codes from Gauguin, build up an animation, export it as an image sequence, convert all the frames using Gauguin and import back the image sequence. My second animation was zooming out on a more complex scene. The final result was quite unexpected as the whole animation was just zooming out but Gauguin generates plenty of different variations of the scene and it looks as though it's a time lapse. My third animation is a little funny experiment of rocks falling out of the sky. I'm not going to lie, I was hoping it's going to look a bit better. Next, I tried recreating a landscape from Game of Thrones. The castle slowly fading away on the horizon or collapsing. It's hard to tell though the idea was to make it fade away. While browsing the internet, I found some people building 3D animations with Gauguin. I wasn't quite sure how they did it as Gauguin doesn't support shading, but I think I cracked the code. What you can do is instead of uploading your frames as segmentation maps, an image that Gauguin understands, you can upload landscape images and Gauguin will build a segmentation map out of it. This way you don't need to worry about your animation using just the supported colors. I added this function to the Python script as well. And now let's put it to the test. I took a small clip of landscape footage and processed it through Gauguin. The result is pretty interesting. You can see that Gauguin has quite a hard time understanding pictures but the result is still better than what I have expected. And one more, props to the person who recorded this in the first place. So beautiful, link to the full video in the description. So just like I did here, you could upload your 3D animations and convert them to Gauguin. I also wanted to feature some cool artwork built with Gauguin that I found online. It's very interesting how people figure out cool ways to use Gauguin, for example generate an environment for drawing. And here's a whole 3D animation baked with Gauguin. Looks somewhat of a hallucination. After trial and error creating different animations, I realized that Gauguin has problems with shading and perspective. It creates the most beautiful stuff when the objects are at a similar distance. The tool is far from being perfect, but it's extremely fun. It keeps receiving updates from time to time and I believe in the near future we might be able to create surrealistic animations instead of psychedelic. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you try out the tools and create something cool, do let me know as I would like to watch it. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below.